Hey, what's up everybody? Browncoat67 here, and today we are going over the fill and set block commands. Alright, so the fill and set block commands are what I would call sister commands, in that they basically both have the same setup structure. Uh, the first one I'm going to go over is going to be the set block commands. Now this one is used essentially to set a single block to a specific coordinate. Uh, so you're going to start off by doing slash set block. The next thing we're going to need is actually the coordinate. So for example, I want to put a block up here on this square. So my coordinates right now are negative 107 for my X, 267 for my Y, and 513 for my Z. So I'm going to go put those in. Alright, that was uh, negative 107, and then 267, and then 513. The next part we're going to put in is the block we want. One of the more popular ones that I do with the set block command is a redstone block. Because I use them to activate a series of commands. I'm going to put a zero here after the block. This number would change the block state. For example, if you're using concrete or something like that, that number here could change the color of it. And in the last part, we could put in replace, which if there was another block there, it would just trade the block so that it wouldn't cause any um, tiles to drop or anything like that. We could type in destroy, in which case we would actually break the block first, uh, causing that block to drop and then it would put the redstone block there so we would have uh, if there was cobblestone up there for example this would leave a small cobblestone block that we could go and, and pick up you could also just leave this empty so I have it set up for impulse and needs redstone so in order to put this block up here all I would need to do is give this command block a redstone pulse so let's grab ourselves a button any button will do. I'm going to put that right on it, and we're going to press it. And now I have a redstone block right up here in this position. Now the fill command is very similar, only the fill command can be used to cover a larger area, um, more blocks than just one. So for example, if I wanted to fill in this whole section up here, I would get two sets of coordinates. I would get this one over here, which is negative 106, 267, 514. And if I came over here to this one, this one's negative 108, 267, 512. So if I were to use those two, it would summon in a flat, one block tall, um, square here that would be three blocks by three blocks. But if I want to make a square, I could take my Y value up here to 269, and I'll be able to summon in a three by three square. So I'm going to get rid of this, and instead of set block, I'm going to do fill. Now for this to work, I'm going to type in the first coordinate that I got. So this is one corner of the square that I'm going to be making. And I'm going to do negative 106, 267, 514. And then the second coordinate was negative 108. And then we took that up to 269. And the last one was 512. Now I could still do redstone block. I'm going to do zero for the block state because I'm not changing it. And now here, I can do another uh, thing where I could type in hollow. So now instead of being a three by three block of redstone, let me show you. If I were to break this one block here, there would be an empty space behind it because I made it hollow. When you type in hollow, it'll leave all the empty space on the inside of your square empty. So if you want to build massive buildings, like the one that we're in, you could use commands quickly to build the basic structure first. Now, if I don't want it to be hollow, I could come up here and I'm going to type in destroy. We're going to run this program. I'm going to come up here and you're going to see that... Oh, where'd they all go? Did they fall down? All the redstone blocks were on the screen for a second, but I don't know where they went. But now, if I were to break this one, there's not an empty space on the inside because it's not the hollow command. 
I wonder if they fell straight through all the way down to the earth below. And then, like I said, if you don't want those tiles to drop, instead of putting in destroy, just put in replace. Now, with the replace command, I can actually do even more than that. So I'm going to use these same coordinates, but I'm going to replace... Uh, let's see, I'm going to put diamond block. I'm not going to change the block state. I'm going to put replace. But now I can specify that I just want to replace the air blocks with diamond blocks. So all the redstone blocks up there should still be there if I run this, but the blocks that are empty, like that one on the front, should get filled up with diamond block. There we go. How cool is that? So you can replace just the one type of block you want. You can replace it all. You can destroy it all. You can summon in cubes that are full. You can summon in cubes that are hollow. The fill and set block commands are really useful. If you want to explore the fill command further, check out this video where I'm starting to build a castle and I use the fill commands to create the front wall as well as a working drawbridge door. That's right, it's an actual drawbridge door that will open and close over a moat. This is Browncode67 and I'll catch you next time.